you know, you're mentioning how women have these like insane standards that they have to, you know, beauty standards, etc. Yeah. And I was actually, you know, mm -hmm. a little devil's advocate here. I can actually make a very compelling argument that the corresponding male beauty standards are actually, you know, if we're talking about the, uh, shoot, there's a specific word for it that's evading me right now, but the uh, male beauty standards are actually far more difficult to attain and achieve than the I would female agree with beauty that standards. Because for a lot of um, anybody female disagree, disagree. I want to hear your compelling argument. I disagree. Argument. Honestly, I disagree. Okay. You, because a man is, you don't have to be that hot. Well, you let me just ask, have to have, you have well, to have charisma. You have to have, sure. you know. Well, a, a yes, men can with. make up for their deficiencies in perhaps certain ways that women can't. But when it comes strictly to physical appearance, if we're if we are talking about physical attraction, uh, most women rate. I think the the study or the statistics on this are. Uh, most women rate like 80% of men as unattractive. Mm -hmm. And like this but, is but, evidence. But why though? Yeah, so that's what? Why, that's why I said I disagree because, because I feel like the com the comparable to like apples to apples, whereas, you know, for, for women thing. it's the looks, but for men, I feel like the heightened, you know, expectation in society is like, they've got to make at least six figures and they've got to have a house and they've got to do this and they need to pay all of our bills and my money's my money and his money is our money. And right. like, I think that's maybe where I would agree more with like the unrealistic expectations and standards in today's society, but, but not I necessarily think, in looks. I think yeah. for well, like women well, though, we can easily go to like a salon or whatever and get our nails done, our makeup done, our hair done. We can change a lot about ourselves. We have all these options, but like men can't grow taller. Men can't, you know, a not be bald. Makes a Difference. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever yeah. seen a man that's tattooed yeah. like hair on his bald head? Well, like they, they're doing stuff too. There, there are, are barber shops that do, do that. But I, I would say it is probably harder for men to attain those standards. However, I will say a lot of men just kind of don't put in like I put in a lot of effing effort, you know, maybe some men don't like the effort I put in, but I put in a lot of effort to like look presentable. A lot of men just kind of show up and uh, I feel like they, true, I don't, I don't that's agree totally with that. I don't, I don't know if it, maybe it's in Canada because I'm looking through the, <laughs> the apps but, and on the street and I'm just like, I feel like I'm doing a lot. Okay, but doing the, very my little. counter to that would be, well, what are all the things that men need to do in order to be attractive to women? Like he has to work on, he could have to work on himself for years. Whereas you say, oh, well, I got to spend an extra 30 minutes in front of the fucking mirror. mirror no i think if a guy's funny it goes a long way yeah, oh yeah like i totally yeah, agree like agree. like i say this but yeah well, but well in a sense for me like what i would like in a guy i just want him to 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 maybe take care of himself in the sense that he's like well groomed um i don't care so much about his height i don't care so much about his weight like i'm not picky i want a man who's relatively average even in his income i just prefer okay. someone above average attitude above average that's, right. that's all i'm looking for someone okay, with a great attitude fine. and so i'm saying that's like totally there fine. are women out there who prefer that it's not like we're like you've got to do xyz but a lot of right women do but i'm not really way. interested in speaking about outliers yeah i know it is an outlier me. that's true that is true but i'm I just wanted, saying i'd rather speak in generalities because i could talk we could have a conversation about well what are the dating what's the dating meta of like you know if you're if you have dwarfism yeah we could talk about it um, I just don't think yeah. it's really productive to have a... Well, what if you're a dwarf? Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I just... I guess I just don't... Because I feel like a lot of people who consume this content, and it is very, like, intriguing and insightful, but I feel like sometimes it's it's so... Maybe it's real, but it's very negative, and I just... I don't want people to feel like there's how's it, not people. How's it negative? Because it may be truthful, but I just feel like when you consume content that just constantly tells you that like women are all after your money essentially and men can never do enough to please a woman. Don't no, say but that. but it's when you're saying that like, you know, there's men have to do way more to impress a woman and all these things. It's That's just, factually it's not, true. Generally, it's factually yes. true. But, well, I'm saying the reason I said it is because it's not always true. And I know you hate the outliers, but I just okay, want people sure. to know there and is if I hope can, out so, there. Okay, if I can concede that it's not always true, yeah. can you concede that it's, that generally it's true. mostly 100%. generally yes, true? Yes, 100%. So I guess okay. I just wasted your time. I with forgot what the question Yeah, I was just, was. just okay. about to ask, what was your, yeah. what was your the statement? original thought? One time, I I concede? one time I watched dwarf porn and I felt really bad afterwards. Thank you for sharing. That was Thank you. beautiful. So what was the original thought? Well, my position was that 
even speaking strictly when it comes to physical appearance, mm -hmm. I actually think there are far more stringent uh, beauty, uh, I don't, beauty is not the perfect word, but beauty, let's just physical say beauty, attraction physical standards. Beauty, there's, yeah. there's far more stringent beauty standards on men than the reverse. For example, here's one example, and we can actually show you a couple things, but mm -hmm. I would argue that when it comes to body fat percentage, which is just one metric that mm -hmm. people typically use for finding somebody attractive, mm -hmm. I would say that the acceptable body fat percentage range in terms of body types that men will find attractive versus the reverse it's much more wider in women. So women but can why? women can fall within a much greater diversity when mm -hmm. it comes wider. to their body fat. Or, <laughs> like a man will can like a woman with a low body fat percentage, you know, thin, athletic, boom, 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 all the way to like thick. Actually, most men don't like women with low body fat because they feel like it looks too masculine even. Well, okay. And then when I say yeah. like, uh, healthy We're range. We're just saying the range. Healthy range. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Healthy range I th here. I think the I I mean just anatomically, like if you learned anything about like anatomy and physiology, women naturally inherently have hover around a twenty to thirty percent body fat range. That's just naturally where we are, okay. especially as we age. Men, only super athletes are like six percent body fat. So the average is somewhere closer to like six, you know, ten to sixteen percent. But it, it displaces and it places differently on men than on women because women are childbearing. We have like fat cells that are there for storage for like, you know, whenever you're breastfeeding and you're having a baby and your body's preparing for that. So it's just a different, I think just a different composition right. is what it is, but it's not just numbers. Sorry, I, but I think the reason that like men have maybe a wider range of what they will go for is because men are looking for something that women are looking for something different. The men are, are usually looking for a sex partner even subconsciously they're being driven by their natural biological urges which is driven by attraction and sex so they're which going is to why have a why do they want sex biologically because they were born that way by no, because they want to procreate yes exactly that's, that's, that's what I'm the saying. natural it's biological natural wiring urge. but that's why i'm saying that like men will have a wider range of what they will find physically acceptable uh, because they have an urge to procreate, so they're going to take maybe women what they can get. Women also have an urge to procreate. Yeah. Oh yeah, they do. But mm -hmm. I'm but I'm saying that it's uh, women are less driven by sex and attraction, so they're more so looking for like generally um, a relationship or that kind of thing. So I, I just think that's why women are looking for something a little bit different. Like they're they're more specific about what they want, whereas men are like. It's not that I don't actually think that that's even true. I think what ends up happening. Uh, are you familiar? I'm assuming that since you've seen the show, you're famili familiar with the term hypergamy. Yes. I so think here's so, what yeah. I think ends up happening. It's not that there's a lack of men that are not willing to commit to women. Here's what I think the major thing is: I know what is you're that, say. and this relates to your mm -hmm. position on promiscuity. How you think that? Well, actually, promiscuity, like the promiscuity in women, is actually kind of men. Men are, you know. To sort to blame basically. No, no, no. That's not at all what I said. Okay, well, no. we can get into that yeah, later. Yeah, 